So great turnout here, Mark. I, I, I'm just wondering, from the point of view of, of the Greystones firefighters, it's been going on since May 19th. Do you sort of have a sense that, that there is going to be a, a, a resolve soon, or, or is, it, is it an unknown? Well, it's an unknown, unfortunately, but um, that's why we're here tonight. We want to put pressure on our local ministers that we have here in the town and the support from our local councillors, which is great, uh, to get the get get them back on the table talking. Uh, without talk, nothing gets resolved. And ultimately it will be resolved. We just want it done quickly. Um, we're actually, you say it started in May. I mean, the reality is this started decades ago. Uh, we've been trying to resolve a retention and recruitment crisis in the fire service for years. And it just has come to a head in May. Uh, so we're on, we can't believe we're on day 78 of our strike. Um, and neither the government nor the council is sitting down and talking to us, uh, which is, again, just really disheartening. Um, at the moment, Greystone's fire station behind us as a crew, it should be crewed with 10. We've uh, an on-call crew at the moment of eight, uh, and we're stood down today, so there's no fire service in Greystone's, and we cover down as far as Coins Cross and up to Sally Gap. So, there's a, I think a population of over 32,000 people we're covering uh, that aren't served by Greystones. They are served by Bray, which uh, you know is obviously what you want to hear, that there's, a, mm. there's some sort of response there, but um, it's, it's not a good uh, position to be in. We should get down to the nitty gritty. I know that, that you're talking about on a retainer, a little over 8,000 for the year. You've got to live 2.5 kilometers no, or, or, or less from the station it means you can't live in Charles Land. There's lots of places you can't live. You're on call 24 hours a day, unless of course you, 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 you've got your annual leave. But it does seem pretty obvious that this is a very, very tough job and, and for very little pay. Yeah, well, look, it's, it's, it's a recruitment and retention crisis. That's the problem. Uh, we were surveyed a couple of years ago and 60% of firemen said they would be leaving the service within the next two years. So in any world, that's a crisis. Uh, we can't get people to come in because the conditions are just too severe. Um, 8,000 is the guaranteed income for someone who's starting. Uh, our politicians locally here, our elected TDs and ministers will tell you that we were offered a 24% uh, increase in, in our wages, but that's 24% of 8,000, which is 2,000 euros. So if they're willing to wear a page or 24, 7, 48 weeks a year for that, go for it, because <laughs> we're sick of it. But well, I know that you, the, 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 the firefighters rejected the, the Labour course recommendation of that and also they said 400 more firefighters, but that's, as you say, it's a drop in the ocean it's, for what it's really uh, needed. Yeah, 24% sounds great, but it's mm. 2,000 euros, that's what it is. Uh, so, but like, that's not good enough. What we are asking for is a fixed wage uh, that is representative of the working commitment we put into it. Uh, they talked about giving extra uh, people to allow for time off which is what we want and we take them we take them gleefully mm. uh, but there's already a shortage of 300 so like that's 700 firefighters that they're looking to recruit uh, and there's 2,000 there already do the maths on that but it's a huge <laughs> amount of, of people that they want and they won't come in under this structure well, I know in the, in, in the, immediately you would like the government to put, to get the LGMA, the, the, the Local Government Management Agency, back to the table. You want uh, recognition of the fact that you have, management needs to recognise that you have a right to, to for, you know, legal dispute. Yeah. I don't know, can, can you can you feel in any way that, that, that these things are, are, are going to happen soon or? Look, uh, this is, we, we asked people to come down two days ago and we've got hundreds here right. uh, and with the support that's coming in is huge. So we're on a 50% closure nationally at the moment. So we're off, our neighbouring station's on. That's rolling across the country day on day. Uh, this is going to escalate further. So the pressure is going to be felt by government and local councils. We have to do that. So the quicker we get talking, the quicker it's resolved. I know that yesterday Leo Radko was down in Louth and, and, and local fire station chief John Malloy said to him, basically this needs to be sorted out before it's too late because this isn't a case of, well, you know, you're just dealing with, you know, general work. This is life and death. This is somebody somewhere may just lose their life because there wasn't a firefighter available. Yeah, that's so that is the that bottom is, line, isn't that's it? That's reality. Really? And the, the slower they progress this, the more risk of that happening, uh, which... We, we, look, we're, we're, we want to serve our community. That's, that's why we do the job. 
Uh, the last thing we want to do is get involved in politics. That's not our game. Right. Uh, let them at it, but they need to talk to us. This is an emergency service that's now currently off the run. Not good.